next. It's a UFC featherweight division fight. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul Jabbar uh, to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 139 pounds. Fighting out of Milan, Italy, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Ready to fight. Well, there have been a lot of similar UFC moments inside the world's most famous arena, and we are back at Madison Square Garden tonight, should be. Who gets that shining moment in the world's greatest arena? I experienced it. I know how it feels to walk out of that octagon at MSG with a championship. Will you get that moment tonight? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Try to establish that jab. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Lands with the right hand. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice punch lands over the top. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Hip into that leg kick. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws. He loaded up there on that high kick. That knee. Big that knee. knee hurt him. Oh. Defensively, there to block the strike by Lee. Big leg kick lands. Finish it. Cut his ankle. Don't let him get out. Under two minutes to go. Good work, guys. Come on. I want that. Can't take any of those. You better check. Push him in the back. 
Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Just misses with the straight left hand. Punch over the top. But he misses. Lee's shot is blocked. Let's get that takedown and win the round. 30 seconds now to go in the round. 20 seconds left. Big punch lands through the middle. Sounds for the end of round one. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Great, okay? I want more of the same. You are controlling the entire fight. Stay sharp, don't get relaxed. So wherever we're at. All right, DC's back from the can as we get this next round underway, and his striking in that previous round was so good. I got tired just watching that. Out. I mean, he did a great job of landing strikes. Not only the strikes, not only the strikes, they were significant strikes. A lot of punches outside of the jab. I've gotten in trouble a lot of times about what's significant and what's not. Right. But I'm telling you, he landed a lot of punches that were very easy to make that determination. Leave the stack guys alone. Jim. Leave them alone, man. Over and over, I get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Look for your double leg. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Body kick now by Lou. Strong defense there to block the shot. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to his play. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. What a body kick. Oh, nice jab to the head there by Lee. Don't give up. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. on that leg kick. Lee gets absolutely tagged by that stiff jab. Big kick. Both fighters throwing heat now. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. There you go. Look for the shot. Powerful leg kick land. Ten seconds remain in round two. Ten minutes in the books. Stop, stop, stop. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin, 
into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good. Over the top. This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with the ball, he went low. And now he's got to hurt very badly. Circling towards the left now. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here. And he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, high-level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Lee. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But that's... There's lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now we have to find him. In the night. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Beautiful body kick. Just missed with the left there. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Connects with the right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Right hand upstairs! Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. Hard shots landing on both sides here. All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges scored this contest. 30-27. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, nice job by him there, as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance, and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you've got to go to the judges, leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that you know you're getting your hand